Hey guys, so today I want to share a Chrome extension with you all. The name is Detailed SEO Extension. This extension has been helping me a lot regarding content writing and uh, basically to get the structures of the blog posts really quickly. So here's how to use it. I have already installed it. For installing, you can just go to the Chrome, ext Chrome extension web store, Chrome web store and just write Detailed SEO Extension. And once you type it and search it, you will come to this. This is its logo. And, uh, already over 100,000 users have installed this. So let's just go. And uh, this is how this extension looks. It will be somewhere here. You just have to pin it. And once you pin it, so when you whatever website you want to open, I've opened this website, whatever website you want to open, you can open that website. And once you open it, you just click on the extension. So when you click on the extension, it will start to give you information regarding the page, the title of the page, the description, the URL of the page, the chronic, the chronicles of the page, and then the keywords of the page, word count. Now, these are some of the information that you can get from other extensions too but in one click it's really time saving and then all the headings and stuff now how to use this all information if you are new to seo you you may know, think that why why would we need all this information you can already write now the thing is with advanced seo and with the increasing use of ai and all those things it's very necessary to understand what your competition is doing if you are competing in this niche or any other niche you just have to check out what kind of headings they are using, what kind of keywords they are using. So once you do your keyword research, then you can go to the top website and just check out what kind of keywords they are using here. So how to write resume, how to make a resume, make resume. These are the keywords. What is the word count? This also matters a lot. And then the quality. Now there are other things too. So let's just check out. These are, these are the headings. So basically it has given us the list of headings. These basically the writer has put here in this blog post to rank it on number one there are other factors too so let's just check out what are the other things it is providing us total links it is giving us total links 140 unique links internal links external links so it is given us the list of all the links also so you can basically check out what are the links and then there are images images without all with title without title so it has given us this information too then there is schema information and you can export the schema information too. Once you click it, you can just export it in the JSON file. So schema information, you can here just scroll down and just let me remove this. And you can just scroll down the schema. All right. So there is a lot of good quality information here regarding the schema also. Let's go to the next one. Let's check out the social. So it is giving us the social information also. So what kind of social links they have given? And then this is just the advanced tab if you want to do more research rather rather the page speed most majestic bus sumo whatever you got archives.org now this is what it is and you can basically change the user agent also from here so whatever user agent you want to use you can use it so if i click on safari it will show me how the website will perform on safari so whatever the case is you can do a lot of things regarding if it's the this plugin if you want to go with it is basically a multi-function plugin which uh, saves you a lot of time and uh, i absolutely love it because uh, it is helping me to write content i will be sharing my process of writing content with this plugin and some of the ai techniques that i'm using and uh, before i go guys if you are using ai just uh, understand that don't just use ai totally because i have seen many youtubers claiming that you can just use ai content no you cannot and uh, there are very good detectors that can detect ai content and uh, my recommendation is if you are using ai don't use ai content for the purpose of ranking on google it is better to just have some filler content with ai but if you want to rank on google or if you are interested in providing some really really high quality value ai is i would not recommend ai so whatever the case is that's all there is to it i will see you in the next one thanks for watching guys thank you